One of the high points of yesterday's message is that God loves people, God cares for people, people are the heartbeat of God. You cannot study the Bible to any length without first knowing the love of God for mankind. People are God's highest desire, and that is why the people are the crown of God's creation. When you toil with people, you toil with God. When you look down on people, you look down on God. When you love people and you take care of people, you are taking care of God. Because God is in people. And that is why we must be careful how we treat people, how we speak with them, how we relate to them. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga. As usual, God Almighty put a word in my mouth to speak to you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, to get you going so that you can prevail over situations and circumstances that make some other people to fall. And this morning, I pray that God himself will bless you. He will open you up to new opportunities. You will go from strength to strength. Every disease in your body is healed. I command those diseases out. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, I want to talk on the topic which I titled, The Poor Shall Never Cease in the Land. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 15, verse 11, God himself was speaking to the people of Israel. And this is what God said. God said, the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore, I command you to open your hand wide to thy poor neighbor, to thy brother, and to thy needy in the land. God is saying it, that the poor will never cease. The poor people will never be eradicated out of the land, no matter what. There will always be poor people. And so because of that, because God loved the people, God says, I command you. He's not saying, I admire, I, I adjure you or I advise you. He said, I command you to open your hand wide to thy poor neighbor, to thy brother, to the needy in the land. Open your hand wide. Some people find it difficult to give. They say, you must go and walk. Let me tell you, there are so many people who are looking for a job who don't have a job. There are so many people who are not lazy as you think that they don't have because they can't work, they are lazy. Who told you? that? Let me tell you, some people are not lazy. Even when they are lazy, they, they are not. They, they don't have. God still say give to them. That's the truth. You must give. Because, see, some people say, I can never give people money. I'd rather show them what to do to get money. If you can show people what to do to get money, go and do it. Because there are people who really need you. Don't say, I can't give them food. Because if I give them food, I will teach them to be lazy. Who told you? There are some people, what they need now, now, now is food. What they need now, now. That's why I love those pastors who give of the blessings that God has blessed them, they ship rise to those areas where people are in need. They give because they understand. They have been hungry before. You see, if you have ever been there, if you have ever been poor, if you have ever been hungry and you needed food and there was no food, you go a begging and nobody gave you. You slept in hunger. You woke up hungry. You didn't know how to get the food for that day. And you have children who are saying, Daddy or Mommy. You will understand what the poor people are going through. There are times when somebody wants to do something, but there is no way. They need the, the, the miracle they need is somebody who will say, Take this 500. The miracle they need is somebody who will say, Take this hamper. Take this food. Take this um, 5 kg of rice. Take these groceries. That is the miracle they need. I've been in a situation in my life when the miracle I need was just a food, a meal. So I understand when somebody does not have. Don't look down on poor people. Don't talk against poor people. Don't laugh at poor people. 
Don't say, ha, 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 ha. I knew it would be like that for him. Wow. Why would you say such a thing? Anything can happen to anybody. It is their turn today. You don't know what will happen to you tomorrow. I have seen rich people become very poor that you will be surprised. And if they tell you that they were once rich, you will argue that this one was never rich. And they were once rich. You are rich today. It is well with you today. Take care of the poor. Because God has said, the poor will never cease out of the land. I am commanding you to open your hand wide to them. This festive period, this Christmas period, don't just plan for your wife and children. Plan for the needy people around you. Don't just plan to buy clothes for your wife and children. Plan for other people. There are people around you. There are so many. You don't need to go far. They are very close to you. They are your neighbor. They are on the streets. Look for them. Make them happy. Do something for other people this festive period. Not me, myself, and I. You must go beyond me, myself, and I. You must go beyond that. God is a God of the people. He's not just your God. He's their God too. If God has been faithful to you, he has blessed you, what are you doing to bless other people? Because they are also the people of God. Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the people and all they that dwell in it. The earth is the Lord. The people are the Lord's. Bless the people of God. Bless the people of God. Give to the people of God. This is the spirit of Christmas. It's the spirit of giving. It's the spirit of joy. Add joy to somebody. Give to somebody. Make somebody joyful. Make somebody happy. You must do it this Christmas season. If you have anything, no matter how small, you can share it. This is the spirit of the season. Sharing. Share of that little that you think you have. Share of that little in your hand. Get somebody blessed. Get somebody joyful. Make somebody happy. Give to somebody. This is what the Spirit is saying to the churches. This is what the Spirit of God is saying to the churches. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. This is what God is saying. And I know as you hear, you understand. Do something about it. You are able to hear this because of partners who do this very thing that I'm saying. They support this program so that we can continue to broadcast it into so many forums and platforms. Thank you, partners. God bless you. If you are hearing this by a rebroadcast and you want me to send it directly to you, just save my number, plus 27740302381. Save that number, go to your WhatsApp and say, add me. And if you are interested in being a partner to donate or to give anything to further this work, just WhatsApp that number and say, Seed. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. The Lord will lift you up and make you great. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out and saying to you, Be blessed and remain blessed.